Forest frequency response analysis can also be called harmonic analysis. It's an important branch of linear dynamics. As we mentioned before, linear dynamics solves the equations of motion as a frequency domain problem instead of a time domain problem. In our lives, many structures experience vibration or cyclic loading. And such loading conditions usually can be represented by sinusoidal loading. For example, a bridge structure, the traffic flow forms a sinusoidal loading on the bridge, and the bridge is forced to vibrate as a response to such loading condition. For a well-designed bridge, such vibration is considered and should not affect the safety of the structure. Another case is the car engine. Usually when you sit in the car and you start the engine, you can feel certain levels of vibration more or less. The source of such vibration is a psychic movement of the piston and crankshafts of the vehicle's motor. You can see that the forcing load repeats in a sinusoidal repetition for each cylinder. The engine motor has multiple cylinders, so multiple excitations per revolution. Such cyclic movement might be magnified depending on how well the engine vibration isolation system or even the entire car structure is built. Now if unfortunately the forcing load caused by traffic repeats at the frequency that matches the natural frequency of the bridge, the vibration of the bridge will be maximized and may lead to severe collapse. Such behavior is called resonance. Besides traffic, strong wind load is also one of the common sources of vibration of a bridge structure. The tragedy of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge might be the first we can think of for such a case. You can see how drastic the vibration is for this suspension bridge. The excitation in this case is a steady wind, but because of the atypical design of the deck, aerodynamic normal forces were generated that acted on the deck exciting the natural twisting mode shape of the bridge structure. The increased twisting resulted in increased forces. This aeroelastic flutter persisted until catastrophic failure. For the case of the car engine, if the cyclic movement of the car engine motor matches the natural frequency of the engine mounting system or parts of the car structure, the vibration of the car will be very noticeable and it can actually cause damage to mechanical parts. Such cases explain the importance of harmonic analysis. One of the main goals of harmonic analysis is to avoid resonance for given excitations. No matter if it's a partial resonance or a global resonance, the result could be devastating to the structure. Now in industry, most engineering structures will be vibration tested to verify the dynamic response if they are to, expected to experience dynamic loading. Besides avoiding resonance, harmonic analysis can also tell us the magnitude of the vibration to prevent things like fatigue failure. The results of harmonic analysis can help an engineer to effectively understand the significance of different model designs. Additionally, harmonic analysis can be used alongside physical testing, such as a shaker table with sign sweep, to correlate the models for natural frequencies and damping.